In this video we're going to look at straight line graphs and in particular how you can work out the equation of a straight line graph. To work out the equation of a straight line graph you need to know that the equation of any straight line graph follows the format y equals mx plus c. This is an equation that every single straight line will follow. And when you write out the equation, what you need to find are these two numbers. The gradient, which is really the steepness of the graph, and this number here, which is given the label C, which is called the y-intercept of the graph. So our objective is to find those two numbers, m, the gradient, and c, the y-intercept. Once we've worked out both of those numbers, we'll be able to put our equation into this format, y equals the gradient multiplied by x plus the y-intercept. So how do we go about finding these two points? Well, let's start with the easiest one, the y-intercept. y-intercept means where does the line here's our line, cross the y-axis. So where does the diagonal line cross the y-axis? And if you can point to that with an arrow, then you've found the y-intercept. In this case, it is minus 2. So the value of c will be minus 2. The second part, finding the gradient, is more difficult. What you need to do is you need to choose two points on your line which cross very nicely through the grid lines. So here are two grid lines crossing over. I'm going to choose that point there. And here are two more grid lines crossing over. I'm going to choose this point here. Both points that I've chosen lie exactly on the line but also cross over the grid lines. Now if you draw a triangle along and up from there with a little right angle in there, that triangle can be used to work out the gradient of this line. Remember what the gradient means. The gradient means for every unit along, how far up does this line go? So if I want to stay on the line and move from this point here to this point here, I need to move along one square and up three squares. I'm going to mark those on there. Three and one. Let's just get this stick out of the way. There we go. So I've got this gradient triangle with a three and a one. To work out my gradient, to work out my value of m, what I need to do is I need to divide how far up I went, 3 squares, divided by how far along I went. In other words, the gradient, in this case, is 3. So we have a gradient of 3, we have a y-intercept of minus 2, and we can use those pieces of information. Remember what we said? We said that um, once we've got those two pieces of information, we can fill them in into this equation. So I have to keep the same format. I have to write y equals m is my gradient. That's 3. Then an x. And then I have to add c. Now since c is negative 2, adding a negative is the same as taking away. So I'm going to write y equals 3x minus 2. And that right there is the equation of the line. So the key points to remember are, look for the gradient, look for the intercept, the y-intercept, and then put them into y equals mx plus c. Let's have a look at another example. Here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing again. Remember, we're trying to get 
these uh, the, the equation of this line in the format y equals mx plus c. So the two things we need to look for. Where does the diagonal line cross the y-axis? That's the y-intercept. There we are. It's at 1, 2, 3. The y-intercept is equal to 3. What is the gradient of this, uh, of this line? Let's have a look. We've got to search for two points which are nicely on the line. So I'm going to choose this point here. OK, notice again how it meets at the crossing point of two grid lines. So it's exactly on the line, but it's exactly on those. I can read exactly what the coordinates of that point are. And then I choose another point which I can read exactly. So I'm not trying to guess. I'm not going halfway through a square or anything. I'm going exactly on the grid line. So I can see this one is at 2, 6, and this one is at 4, 9. Once again, we draw the little triangle on. There it is. It's a right angled triangle. So in this case, I've gone two squares along and three squares up. Remember what we said about the gradient. The gradient is how far up divided by how far along. It's 3 over 2, which can also be written as 1.5. But I'm going to leave it as 3 over 2. So now I come to my equation. Remember, I've got to keep the y in its correct place. I've got to now substitute an m. The value of m is my gradient is 3 over 2. The value of x, I don't substitute. That can change. And the value of c, I can substitute. It's a 3. So the equation of this line is y equals 3 over 2x plus 3. It's really key that you remember how to divide to find your gradient. Up divided by across. And it's really key that you remember this formula here, y equals mx plus c. The gradient multiplied by x add the intercept. If you can do those three things, then you will be absolutely fine. Check out the next video to see how you deal with negative gradients.